And welcome back, guys. We're going to be playing some more Cyberpunk 2077 Phantom Liberty DLC. Make sure to like, like, make sure to subscribe button. Let's get into it. to catch a ricochet, huh? Netrunner, blackmailer, murderer. He's my hit. He has some dirt under his nails, yes. But Milko, he's a no one. A small fish in a big pond. I am Agent Alan Noel, Netwatch. Organized crime specialist. I'm sure we can work something out. I met a chum of yours recently. Likewise, sniffing around the voodoo boys. Agent Mosley. He speaks highly of you. You came to an understanding with our men back then. Yeah, I thought so too. Till I learned your buddy secretly injected a tracking program in me. Class act. That's why I'm not gonna waste my breath on a corpo this time around. At least let me unplug from Milko. Fine. But so much as a twitch, and you're a flatline. That's better. Now, listen to me. You can't kill Milko. Not yet. Wanna stop me? Try. Months I've suffered this place. Hold up with these scabs on society. I aim to expose their web of blackmailers and murderers like Milko. But to do that, I have to find out who's pulling the strings first. This Milko guy work for you? Your source? I piggyback whenever he jacks into the net. Try to pin down who's feeding him orders. Give me a chance. Do you realize how many more people you can save this way? I have reports of victims all along the coast. Milko is only one of the runners working for the Voodoo Boys. As soon as I find the head behind the operation, I can chop it off and end this for good. I need Milko. His death alone won't change anything. Understand? To you? These victims are numbers in a file. No names, no faces. Well, my client does have a name. Indira Baratza. And she'll die if I don't do my job. You think I don't know that? Pulling Milko's plug will not save Indira's life. He'll just be replaced. Think he cares about those poor saps the voodoo boys are hacking? Last thing on his mind. Company you men do it, like him, right? all the same. Just out to be the next fake smiling employee of the month. Fine. Keep doing your thing here. Just know if you fuck this up, you're next on my shit list. You won't regret it. I give my word. Our calculations have determined that you are listening to 103.5 Radio Pepcac. The numbers never lie. Now. 
You have secured the safety of your client and elevated your fixer standing with his corporate employers. With a full heart and a fuller bank account, I'll transfer your Tout fee. Clair. Contract Power closed. Hey, hold, hey, hang on a sec, Hans. Remember our deal? Yes, the Black Sapphire. I have an entry strategy for you. Foolproof. Beat me at the heavy hearts. Okay, be there soon. there this is a nice place so play nice hear me got our eyes everywhere Let's get back to work now. Okay? Okay. Ah, if it isn't V. V, my favorite Merc. Splendid. What you completed for me significantly shifted the playing field vis-a-vis -vis Hanson. Excellent work, precisely as requested. Maybe the one thing I didn't expect, to see the man behind the hollow curtain. The elusive Mr. Hands in the flesh. Not only did you rescue those clowns in blue, you also managed to eliminate Dodger. Calm, collected, and professional. Bravo. You have proven to be a person I can trust. Hence my decision to drop the veil and meet in person. A rare occurrence, I assure you. Were I to have more virtuosos like you, I wager I'd have more than Dogtown in my grasp. Dogtown, Pacifica, then I'd line up the rest, snort, and it'd be done. Working with bona fide professionals, positively a treat. Gigs you had me do. How will they solve your Hanson sitch? Take a boxer. He can't knock out his opponent. What then? He goes to work on the body. Once his adversary's stamina wanes, he looks for his opening, connects fists with jaw. I know it may not seem all that clear from where you stand, but the gigs you have completed will allow me to audaciously shift some of the pawns and figures on the chessboard that is Dogtown. 
Checkmate is but a few moves away. Take it you'd prefer Dogtown with no Hansen at the helm? Hansen wields much power, greedily so. He's also clever. These traits I tolerate, even value, when occurring in isolation. But all at once, no. Especially not in one who grips an entire district in the palm of his hand. It makes business... trying. Interest you in some tea? It's my own blend. Sure, why not? So, how did this combat zone become Dogtown? Do you know? I heard this and that. Something to do with the war? 2069. Colonel Hansen led an operation colorfully called Midnight Storm. The objective? To occupy this combat zone and establish an NUSA staging ground in Night City. Soon after, the sides agreed to a ceasefire. Hansen's force was left to fend for itself. Headquarters, the public, everyone feigned ignorance, pretending Hansen and company were never here. But our good colonel decided to put down roots. He declared this combat zone an NUSA territory. In our terms, he carved out an enclave for himself and went from soldier to arms dealer overnight. Marooned he was. Two weeks for a bullet to reach his brain, everyone thought. But his brain remained intact, and he became a force to be reckoned with. A man whose existence is a threat to many is a dangerous man indeed. Let's table politics for now, huh? Go straight to biz? Business. Hmm. Of course. The Black Sapphire. Hansen stronghold, guarded by elite soldiers. Military quarters are situated on lower levels, while top floors are a decadent haven for the ultra-rich. The building's blueprint was not easily procured, I should say. Hansen guards his hotel secrets as if they were an embarrassing rectal itch. But, given a will, ways are usually found. You help a client of mine, they reciprocate, and I gain latitude. Quid pro quo in full effect. The building plans are yours. I'll even throw in vulnerabilities to watch for, a token of my appreciation. And, though this goes without saying, the data, its source, are completely secure. No one knows you have it. Data leaks, or lack thereof, are the difference between myself and, say, the late Mr. Deshawn. The Shard. Black Sapphire info and blueprints. All nooks and crannies. I trust it's all you need to waltz in and perform your planned pirouettes. Yet a word of caution. Even fully prepared, you'll be marching into a pit full of vipers. Watch your step. Thanks, Hans. I only hope this won't mark the end of our collaboration. Truth be told, a few new assignments seem imminent. Let me guess. More local political gaming? Activity is abundant in Dogtown, and behind closed doors, plots and schemes. Should change ever occur, as it inevitably must, someone really ought to pave the way for a smooth transition. Be looking forward to those new gigs, then. You will hear from me soon. This, I guarantee you. And V, whatever happens at the Black Sapphire, make sure you come back alive, hmm? You're going where local and international politics mix. Strong currents, both. I'll make sure to plant my feet firmly, then. Later, hands.
problem. Reed, got the data shard from hands. Our golden ticket into the Black Sapphire. Perfect. Send it to him. No worries. This connection's secure. Catch. It's on its way. And reception complete. I'll pass it on to Alex. And as soon as you're ready, join us at the Moth. If I'm not there when you arrive, just wait. Till then. Sit down. How can I help? Really? <clears throat> Starting to get used to it. This the relic? Gets worse every day. Time I have left evaporating quick. You experience them often? These attacks? Don't really keep count, but never know if the next one won't be my last. No shit. Death's breathing down my neck. Always. I know what that feels like. Being a dead man walking? Exactly. I never talked about this, you know. I should be saying they tried to kill me. But sometimes it feels like they actually succeeded. Tell me more. Ambush. Attempt on my life seven years back. Yeah, he said. What exactly happened there, Reed? I landed in the ICU. While I waited for some Arasaka goon to come finish me off. 
I was betrayed by our people, the FIA. I say betrayed, but I was sold out. Part of a deal, a peace offering, my head on a silver platter, all for a ceasefire. Peace comes at a price. Someone's always got to pay it. Come on, I want to show you something. Hang on. They set you up, yet here you are working for them again? Even deep wounds stop hurting eventually. Scar over. A few years on, they're just a niche. Let's go. Let's ride down. Where are we headed? On a little trip down memory lane to see some old junk. I still can't believe Alex decided the best place for a bar was right over our old safe house. She's always had a twisted sense of humor. Where's she at? Waiting downstairs? She's finishing up recon in town. We should make ourselves at home until she gets back. Been dark for seven years, this place. Let's brighten things up again. Any war is never pretty. Both sides race to tie up loose ends. A car bomb blew up one of my crew. Another was poisoned. A third got shot in the back of the head while buying a pack of smokes. A couple others just vanished without a trace. Every night we waited for Arasaka agents to come finish us off. I had to make a choice. I chose to dig our heels in. I thought we still had a fighting chance. It was bold. It was stupid. A mix of both. Maybe I just didn't know how to walk away, let it rest. Or maybe I don't know how to lose. Either way, we managed to save a few more agents. The price for that was yours truly. Say what you want, but sounds like they stabbed you in the back, plain and simple. Saving many of my people in the process. You play grown-up games, you face grown-up consequences. Money, out of everyone. It was Songbird they asked to pull the trigger. Wait. Yeah. Pulled the trigger as in literally took out her iron and shot you. Not personally, but she unlocked the door for those who came and did. I was leaving the city, heading home. Songbird was still here, in this very room, in fact. It was guiding me on comms. Led me straight into a trap. Neutralizing me. The last assignment in Night City. Then she got a ticket home. And yet you're now trying to save her. Why? Because it's the right thing to do. I had plenty of time to examine this under a microscope. Under focus, some things sharpened. Others blur. But there comes a point when you just cut through the bullshit and see what's in front of you. Songbird is still my people, and nothing could change that. Fuck, Reed. Now, my is is a whole nother story, but Songbird, no. 
I got nothing against her. So why Myers? I miss anything? Some reminiscing. So good. Let's get this show going. I checked up on Slider's contention. Looking at how to write, it turns out. I dove into old mission files wherever Somi was involved. They were buried deep, near impossible to access, even with my clearance. Each and every one, the Blackwall. All authorizations, mission orders, personally signed by one person. Rosalind Myers. Wouldn't want to be in her shoes if that shit floats to the top. The NUS is a small country governed by a woman with highly ambitious goals. Sometimes those ambitions went out of reason. But that's not something we need to pour over now. Alex, what do you have for us? Oh, a little of this, a little of that. We'll plan in a sec. Say, V. Like playing fancy dress up? Nah, always feels like I gotta stick up my ass. Ouch. Sucks to be you. <laughs> Afraid it ain't up for debate. Managed to learn that some pop megastar is gonna grace the party with a show. Guest list? Expect everybody who's anybody. That includes you. Gonna don fancy outfits and rub shoulders with VIPs. Be warned though, fancy doesn't mean easy. Ready for the deets, V? Let me hear him. Black Sapphire, the most heavily guarded place in Dogtown. Doesn't mean security's airtight, though. V, you're gonna enter through a flooded tunnel system. Got a top-of-the-line diving suit, ought to fit you snug as a glove. Water's maybe a little super toxic. So yeah, be careful. Toxic how, exactly? Hmm, from suspect waste, some sewage leak too. Don't worry, suit's pissing shit proof. Already know what the hotel looks like. Really, really hard to miss. Flooded tunnels here. That's your way inside. Now focus. You'll reach a terminal at the end. Jack in and breach the cans, giving Reed his window to slip into the building. You'll take different elevators up, here. Saul will open a passage to his side. For you ask, yeah, it's the only way. Area could be heavily guarded, so you'll have to be on your tippy toes. Couldn't get clean intel, so you'll just have to be creative. Improvise. You're gonna meet here. Soon as you meet up, you'll doll up like it's prom night and go to the ball. That's where you'll rendezvous with Songbird. All clear? Yup. Prem. Okay, let's talk gear. Take your time. Grab anything you think might be useful. A surprise awaits you in the box. your iron sure is her majesty has been itching to return to active duty i'd be honored
Hands. What did he want in return for the favor he did us? Wanted to test the waters, see which way the currents were flowing. Hansen's dominance over Dogtown doesn't benefit Hans' know-how, so he's out to level the playing field. Politics. It's the same shit wherever you go. You know, if not for you, we'd have no way of getting into the Black Sapphire reaching Somburg. It's good to have you on our side. I mean that, V. That it? We set? I believe we are. I'll hang back a while, and then meet you there. Place stinks of memories, huh? A little dusty. Well preserved. What are we going to do Alrighty, that looks like a good place to stop. Make sure to like button, make sure to subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next video.